What is nano? A man's beard grows five nanometers every second. Oh, suffice it to say, a nanometer is very, very small. Despite its size, you can see the effects of things happening at the nanoscale all around you. They give the sunset its red color, allow birds to navigate, and help geckos stick to trees. We humans are strange creatures, aren't we, if we're honest? We like to measure things. Earth's tallest mountains are over 8,000 meters tall. A football pitch is around 100 meters. I myself am about 2 meters when I'm standing up in shoes. Good afternoon. Ants are a few millimeters long. Skin cells about 30 micrometers. We can't see things this small. A bacterium is about two micrometers. Smaller still are viruses and phages. And so we go down to DNA, our molecular blueprints. DNA is two billionths of a meter in diameter, or more conveniently, two nanometers, the units that we use to measure the building blocks of everything. Welcome to the nanoscale. 